Yes, Cruz, how you do? I hope that you are having an awesome day. Now, today we're going to be talking about topical deuterosteride. Deuterosteride, what's that? Topical, well, where do you apply it? Okay, so um, deuterosteride and finasteride are usually compounds that are ingested orally, but in this instance, it is applied topically. Now, the whole purpose of finasteride and deuterosteride is to reduce DHT. So DHT is a derivative of um, testosterone. So testosterone hits the 5-alpha reductase, 5-alpha reductase enzyme and gets converted into DHT. So testosterone is very good for building muscle and, you know, strength and all this type of stuff. DHT, I think it can have an impact on strength in that it makes you kind of more aggressively attach, attacking the weights. It makes you um, more kind of, how would I say, just kind of aggressive. It's, it's results, it's responsible for sex drive um, and erection quality and it's re responsible for growing facial hair and more what we're talking about here is losing the hair on your head so um when people are given uh kind of typical um finasteride it affects one of the pathways there's like two alpha reductase pathways as far as i'm aware um, and uh, finasteride affects one of them, and thereby it reduces serum uh, DHT, serum dihydrotestosterone, by about 70%. Now, if you take oral deuterosteride, not finasteride, um, which is what I'm applying topically, it just nukes it. It, it basically uh, attacks both pathways and can get near to 100% reduction in DHT. Um, when I tried oral finasteride, um, which has a lesser effect than the deuterosteride, uh, uh, it had a really bad effect on me. So it, the good effects are it stops your hair from falling out so fast. The bad effect, it, it made me feel depressed. I had a really bad time on it. I think that my neurotransmitters are maybe non-typical in their balance and they were thrown off, something happened, I just kept on thinking, like, life is shit, I want to die, life is shit, I want to die, and this happened for a bunch of days, I was taking, um, like, uh, other steroids, which are DHT derivatives, which make your hair fall out really fast, thereby totally defeating the purpose of ingesting finasteride, um, because I wanted this feeling to go away, and I didn't care if all my hair fell out, I wanted this feeling to go away. Um, so that's my experience taking oral finasteride. So now we're talking about topical deuterosteride, which is deuterosteride is even more of an aggressive compound. So topical deuterosteride, it is said to reduce 90% of the DHT in the scalp where it only has a minimum effect on the serum DHT in your blood. Now, as I am on a shit ton of testosterone, not a lot compared to real bodybuilders and hardcore powerlifters, I am, I'm just taking a few times more than the natural level, not like loads and loads times more, um, mostly because I'm trying to avoid lots of side effects and I'm not taking enough to really become a world-class athlete, I'm just, I'm just taking the amount that I'm comfortable with taking. I've upped it a little bit recently, um, getting ready for a competition in, I think it's like three weeks time. So I have upped my testosterone recently, but um, I've got enough serum DHT in me where a little bit of a dip, it doesn't seem to be having any negative effects so far. So let's get back, let's get back to topic here. Okay, so um, I thought that, you know, you have to nuke it in your body. You have to stop the DHT from happening in the body and then it's not flowing around your blood and then affecting, miniaturizing your hair follicles because that's the process by which uh, 
androgenic alopecia, um, as in testosterone in, or dihydrotestosterone induced hair loss happens. Um, basically, um, something to do with the DHT and a little bit of testosterone um, affects the hair follicle and maybe it restricts blood flow to the hair follicle and miniaturizes it. So what I have noticed and other people notice when they get androgenic alopecia is that the hairs that fall out in the shower, they're very thin, they're very tiny hairs, and these have been miniaturized by the effect of a little bit of testosterone, but mostly dihydrotestosterone, because dihydrotestosterone is five times more effective at like having all these androgenic effects. It binds five times more to the androgen receptor than testosterone, I think. But it doesn't really have an anabolic effect, as in it doesn't build muscle. It's, it, I think it might do a tiny bit, maybe, but it produces sex drive. It produces facial hair. I have grown loads of hair on my back, like at my chest, and down on my crotch, everywhere. I have turned into a hairy mess since taking testosterone, um, where before I had very little hair. And that is mainly the result of the DHT. Um, as I said, five times more androgenic. So, yeah, okay, maybe I don't know if it binds to the androgen receptor five times more, whatever. It's five times more androgenic. So if you have one unit of testosterone, it's very good at building all the muscle and everything. But if you have the same unit of dihydrotestosterone, it doesn't really build much muscle, but it will strip the hair off your head if you are genetically predisposed to hair loss and it will make you grow facial hair. It will increase your erection quality, increase your sex drive, um, make you more aggressive and have kind of like the mental side effects that are more typically associated with high testosterone. So you don't, and, and I think it actually has neuroprotective effects and this type of stuff. So like nuking your serum, your blood DHT, I don't like it. It made me feel like I wanted to die, um, but that's probably very particular to me. I get loads of side effects that most other people don't experience. I, I haven't really read this as a, a major side effect of finasteride. So everybody out there, don't be scared of taking finasteride or dutasteride just because I felt like life was horrible and I wanted to die when I was taking the stuff. I mean, Ari Shafir had the same thing. He had, he was plagued with um, suicidal thoughts. He had crazy bouts of depression when he was uh, taking his hair loss medication, his oral finasteride. So me and him, yeah, we don't get on with it well like this, but the majority of people don't have any problems. And the earlier you start it, the more hair you will be able to preserve and possibly reverse the hair loss. So don't let my horror stories scare you. Anyway, anyway, so this topical application, um, I've tried it yesterday. Today's been great. I've had a good sex drive. I have felt like having sex. I have had erection quality. I have not felt like killing myself. I have been enjoying life quite a lot today. So um, from the single application, this is a very small sample size um, with no actual time to accumulate over multiple doses. I have determined thus far, it seems to be working pretty well for me. And within three plus months, once the hair cycle has done its thing, we might start to get some idea if it's reducing the shedding, if it's reducing the miniaturization, if there's any chance with the amount of testosterone I'm taking, if it's having any effect at regrowth or anything like that. Now, um, dutasteride has quite a big uh, molecular weight. It's five. It's over 500 deltons. I think it's 530 deltons. Now, the 500 delton rule is anything under 500 delt deltons, it can 
get. It can penetrate through the skin and have effects. So this, this is what happens with topical finasteride. Apparently, with topical finasteride, because it's only 300 and something deltons, it penetrates the scalp. It has a great effect locally at stopping the DHT, but it also kind of becomes systemic and can significantly reduce serum DHT, which then leads to the same type of side effects that you might experience if you have bad side effects from the oral finasteride. So I hear. Don't take my word from it. Other web websites say this might not be the case. So, you know, have a balanced, unbiased opinion. But from what I hear, it can have these effects and people that are prone to these effects get erectile dysfunction, loss of sex drive, depression. Um, well, they don't have as much hair loss. So uh, one thing that I was confused by is um, that I thought that, like I said before, that you had to nuke total DHT. Uh, in your body because you've got DHT going around in your blood, which, you, you know, and that has the effect in the hair follicle and miniaturizing it. But what I understand about aromatization and uh, um, what you call it when you turn testosterone into DHT, 5-alpha reduction, aromatization turning into estrogen and 5-alpha reduction turning testosterone into DHT. Um, that these things happen locally. You have the testosterone flowing through the blood and in the tissues, there is different amounts of the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, which then converts the testosterone into the DHT locally. So in this instance, it is going to be in the scalp, in the middle of my scalp, not as much on the sides or the back. That's the area which is prone to having a lot of this 5-alpha reductase enzyme. And um, that's the area where the testosterone gets converted to DHT. So, so far, it seems to be working okay after a single application. Because of the high molecular weight, it's meant to stay quite locally in the scalp where it's applied. And it's not meant to stay, meant to go systemic. But it, because it stays locally with that high molecular weight, it's also meant to enable um, less frequent application than would be required with other hair loss compounds. Um, for example, I'm using RU58841, which is a topical anti-androgen. So testosterone, D okay, testosterone a bit, DHT five times more is an androgen and it binds to the androgen receptor and expresses the, <laughs> it binds the rece androgen receptor on a cell and then it makes the genes of that cell like express androgenicity. So in the hair that is reducing the follicle size and makes your hair fall out and all that. On the chin, it's growing a beard and on the rest of the body, it's body hair and your brain, it's aggression, whatever, right? Okay. So, um, yeah, basically, um, you don't have to apply it that regularly. I can't remember where I was going with all this. I've just lost my train of thought. People, it seems to be working so far. I will give you an update. Oh, that's it. RU58841. Sorry about this. Sorry about this. It's been a long day. I've squatted heavy. I've deadlifted heavy. I've benched heavy. I'm getting ready for a meet. My head is not focused, obviously. Um, but with this RU58841, rewind back to this. With the RU58841, that just binds to the androgen receptor. So that takes care of testosterone, DHT, but it only binds about as strongly as testosterone. And it does go systemic more from what I understand. Um, so that basically I'm injecting testosterone and at the same time, I'm applying something on my scalp, which has the opposite effect to testosterone. So it binds to the same receptor and then the testosterone can't bind to that receptor. But that means if that's happening in the rest of my body, that the testosterone I'm injecting is not having the effect of building muscle and making me stronger like I want as much as I would want because some of this RU58841 has gotten onto it and bound onto it just a little bit, just a little bit. Whereas with this dutasteride, because the molecular weight is so high, it is supposed to 
stay in the scalp where it's applied more and not have as much of a systemic effect. And with the RU58841, it's got a half-life of about one day. So you have to apply it daily. With this topical dutasteride, I think it could be every other day, maybe as low as once per week, if you incorporate microneedling. The formulation I've got is 0.1%. So it's a very low concentration of this compound in the solution. And that is it. That's my summary of it so far. I'm very pleased that today I don't feel like shit. I'm very pleased that today I have a decent sex drive and I feel happy. I feel pretty, pretty damn good today. Um, so let's hope that this works. I've been looking for something to reduce the DHT for so long. For so long. I've lost so much hair in the process waiting for this. I hope this works well for me and I hope that something similar can work for people like you that might be in the same position as me. Anyway, people, I'm not saying guys because women, if you got topical, if you got androgenic alopecia, if you've gone through menopause and you're losing your hair, if you've got, um, what's it called, polycystic ovarian syndrome and you've got like too much testosterone in your system and stuff, yeah, you might want to use topical dutasteride too. Uh, or are you for, are you 58841? Whatever. Anyway, I hope that you find this information useful and until next time, catch you later. Peace. Pshh.